Hey, what's going on guys? Jake the Happy Snake here, and welcome to episode 47 of Pokemon Green. Last time, I finally finished the Silph Co. It took five episodes, but I was finally able to get it done. And also, at the end of the last episode, I got my fifth team member. Finally! Like, holy crap. I got Sandshrew, which is now a Sandslash, uh, which was my fourth team member. I got him in episode 17. So it took 29 episodes to get my next team member. Like, holy crap. Uh, yeah, I got Omanyte at the end of the last episode, and I actually did a lot of off-screen training, like I said I was going to. And I did, in fact, evolve him on screen. So I'm going to show that battle right now. All right, so this is going to be Omanyte's first battle on screen. And his last battle as an Omanyte. He is 124 experience points away from evolving, so we're just going to take out this Pidgey with a one hit with a horn attack. He's going to use quick attack. It's going to do nothing. Uh, yeah, Omanyte's moveset right now is Water Gun, Surf, Horn Attack, and uh, Withdraw, I think. Pretty sure. Anyways, level 40. What? Oh man, that is evolving! Yeah, I taught him Surf because, well, why wouldn't I? <laughs> you know? Anyways, yeah, Omastar. I've never used an Omastar before. Never, ever, not even personal playthrough, nothing. I've never used an Omastar before, so I'm really, really excited for this. This is a really unique team, I gotta say. I'm really, really excited for this team. This is, uh, this is a pretty good team. Um, so, yeah, anyways, back to the gym. So there you go. I did get him up to level 43 off screen, so I did do a lot of training, and I believe he knows the same moves as he did in that clip I just showed. Uh, so that'd be Water Gun, Withdraw, I'm pretty sure, Surf, and Horn Attack. I'm pretty sure he hasn't learned any moves. If if you can believe it, Omosur, Omosur, I'm pretty sure, cannot learn any Rock-type moves at all in Gen 1. Because uh, there's no rock type TMs that he can learn. I'm not even sure there is any rock TMs at all. And he doesn't learn any rock moves uh, through level up. So unless there's another way, I don't think he can learn any, learn any rock type moves. Which is kind of crazy because he's a he is part rock type. But I don't think he learns any rock type moves. So that's kinda, that kind of sucks in a way. But anyways, yeah, I'm going to be using him for most of this video. because Just because he is my newest team member. And I've been waiting so long to get him. Like, honestly, I got the Helix Fossil in Mount Moon. Right? So I don't know what episode that would have been. Like, maybe 8 or 9. I honestly can't remember. Uh, anyways, this time I'm going to be taking on the Saffron Gym, which is the sixth gym of the game, and in my opinion has the most attractive gym leader out of any Pokemon game. So yeah, I'm really, really excited for this. Let's go ahead and get right into this. I really don't like this, pu this puzzle mainly because of the teleporters, because if you watch the last few episodes, I really don't like teleporters at all. Um, however, if it was a teleport in Star Trek, I would like that, but not this, not, not these kind, because these kind just literally warp you like random places, and I really don't like that. Anyways, yeah, so starting off with a Slowpoke. So, here's my newest team member, and I'm going to be getting my sixth team member. It's not going to take too long. I think I said in the last episode it's going to be episode 49, hopefully. Maybe 50. I'm not really sure, but I definitely don't want to, don't want to wait as long as I did to get to get Omastar. So, yeah. Anyways, I'm really excited. I've never, ever, ever used an Omastar before in any personal playthrough of anything. I have used Kaboot House before, but I've never used an Omastar, so I'm really, really excited for this. Um, yeah. Just going to use another Horde Attack. Take care of the Slowpoke. And I did most of the training inside the Pokemon Mansion. I know I haven't... Well, I went in there accidentally in, in the last episode, but I did most of my training in there because there's a lot of fire types and they're also a decent level too. Um, I did... first When I first started training Almanite off screen, I went to the route right before Future City. Uh, so the last round, that really long string of routes. And then I went to the to the route after... Uh, like right before Celadon City. That's, that's where I evolved Almanite in that clip. And... Honestly, the bell sprouts and the weeping bells. Oh man, what a terrible matchup for Omnite. You know, when he got horn attack, it was a little bit better, but then I thought about going to the mansion and bat battling there because lots of fire types there. And they're also at a decent level too. Like the, like the mucks and the weezings are level 37 ish. So yeah, a lot of ponytas and Vulpix. And um, I feel like there's another fire type they're not thinking of. That, that actually might be it. But yeah, it's pretty good. So yeah, this is gonna take a little bit to take this. Oh, critical hit! I could switch over to Venusaur, but I think I think Omastar can take this guy down. Oh, if you keep doing that little damage, I mean, we did get the one critical hit, which was really nice. Finally got one that you know, I bet you I'm gonna get one that I don't need because that's always that always seems to be the way. That 
Always, always be seems the way. <laughs> always be seems the way. Did I just say that? All right, now you're using water gun. I, I, I can use water gun on you. However, I'm not going to because when you use it, it's normally effective. When I use it, it's not very effective. Okay, now you're using Leer. You're just being dumb now. There we go. And it is a very hot day today. Uh, Where I am, it's like, what, 34 degrees Celsius? Oh, crap. Are you kidding me? I'm pretty sure it's not actually an important move. But I'm going to go look it up just to be on the safe side. Okay, so I just watched back that three-minute part of the video, and I realized that the game's audio wasn't captured for whatever reason. I really do apologize about that. Not exactly sure what happened, but it should be okay now. Um, he's learning Spike Cannon, and I know next to nothing about Spike Cannons, so honestly, I think Horn Attack does more. Uh, Horn Attack, yeah. Well, I, I, spike, spike Cannon might be one of those multi-attack moves, but I think I'm good. I think I'm good, to be quite honest. Anyways, yeah, I'm sorry about that um, audio issue. Not really sure what happened, but not exactly a fan of the idea of having to go back and do that part again, so I'm just gonna leave it. Anyways! Alright. Yeah, I'm recording this video in May still. I know it's being uploaded in the middle of June, but I'm recording it in May, and it is like, it's, it's insanely hot out. It's like 34, 35 degrees Celsius where I am. Like, it's crazy. Um, and I'm, I'm in Canada, so that's, you know, that's kind of insane. So, yeah, hopefully it, it might be a, it might be a brutal summer. Especially if we're also still quarantined by then. There's what's that? Is that side beam? Or side wave? Or something? See, this is, this is good. We're seeing psychic types in a psychic type gym. We're not seeing psychic types in a poison type gym. Like, that is the most dumb, that is seriously one of the stupidest things. I just, I never understood that. I seriously never understood that. All right. Slowpoke, okay, we're gonna use horn attack and holy crap, I'm almost, I'm almost out of horn attacks? Wow, I guess I used a lot on that slow bro, but my goodness. All right, Slowpoke goes down. Who do we have next? Mr. Mime, oh gosh. I keep thinking this is Hydro Pump, but it's not. It's, it looks like Hydro Pump, but like when I was doing my off-screen training, I, I was like, oh wait, does Hydro Pump have 15 PP in this, in, this, in this version? But then I realized that's Surf, not Hydro Pump, because he doesn't want Hydro Pump to level 54, I think. I have the thing open. That would mean me switching tabs, and I don't like doing that in my videos. Okay, anyways, let's see. Hey, one hit KO, all right, almost star. Yeah, almost star is almost out of horn attacks, so I might have to potentially go back and heal, maybe. Let's just take a look here. And he actually looks normal in this game, which is nice. Um, seven, I don't know. Well, you know what, actually, if I get up to level 45, that's all I need to do, right? Get up to level 45, and then I'm gonna use Venusaur, so yeah. Let's get one more level, and then I'll switch out. Just nice to use him a little bit, since he is my newest team member. All right. Another Psychic. See, and I also don't like, because it's easy to skip trainers here, because you don't know if you battled them all. I just, I just don't like this gym puzzle. There's a lot of gym puzzles in this, in this game, in this game that I don't like. Uh, also, Lieutenant Surge's gym. Yeah, I should go back and watch. Was that part 10, I think, of my blue Let's Play? Oh, man. It took me, like, half an hour to actually get past it. Who is next? Kadabra. I believe we see Alex Zam in this. For a second there, I was thinking we see Espeon, but we don't see Espeon because Espeon did not exist when this game came out. Is that Recover? It is Recover. Dude! I hate that move. There's nothing worse than that when you when that move is being used by Mewtwo, which is why Mewtwo is so hard to catch in this game. I tried to catch in my personal blue uh, save like a year ago, about a year and a half ago. I tried to catch Mewtwo with an Ultra Ball, but it was just too hard because for some reason I kept saying that the Ultra Ball failed, and also it knows recover. So yeah, I just the Master Ball. And I might catch legendaries in this Let's Play. I haven't decided yet, but if I do, um, that. If I do, then, you know, it, it won't be for a long time. And by the way, speaking of which, I've officially... This is part... This is episode 47 of the Let's Play. I've officially made more episodes of this Let's Play than Blue. The la last, the very last episode of Blue was episode 46, where I caught a Ditto as the last episode. I don't know why I would do something so stupid, 
but that's just what I did when I was that age. Um, so yeah. Blue was kind of rushed, though. I know I've been uploading an episode of this series almost every day since it started, but also the videos have been a lot shorter than they were in blue, so... Anyways, this is not gonna work- Is he- Okay, so we saw a bunch of psychic types in the poison type gym, and now we're seeing poison type in the psychic type gym. Why? There's no need! Go away, you don't belong here. Great, you taught you taught your ghastly confusion, and that's oh, that's not confusion. That's nightshade, I think, actually. And now you're using, I, I, I don't even know what. Oh, you're okay. You're poisoning me. Good job. I think that's poison. I hope not. Oh, the only thing I like about this gym is the gym leader. That's the only thing I like about this gym. I don't like psychic types. I don't like psychic types at all. I don't, I, you know what, I'm, I'm not even gonna lie, have I ever used a Psychic Type in a Let's Play? I'm not even sure if I've used a Psychic Type in any personal pl a playthrough. A Haunter? What are you even using? Oh, Acid. It has to be Acid. Although, I don't think Acid can poison. I don't know what move that is. I guess I'm not poisoned. I think I'm paralyzed, actually. Which I can deal with. All right, another critical hit, so one more will do the trick. No! Oh, no, not confused, Ray. Oh, Venusaur, come on, dude. All right, hyper potion time. That confusion again. You gotta be kidding me, man. Not confusion, it's uh nightshade. I keep calling it the confusion because I think it is confusion, but then I realize that's not super effective. Anyways. Okay, I like Venus to level up because right now it's kinda disabled, sort of. Alright. I wanna make sure I battle every trainer. So we'll just make sure. Do, 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 do. Yeah, so yeah, this is episode 47 of the series, and my blue let's play never had an episode 47, so yeah, that's kind of cool. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Okay. Razor Leaf! I know I shouldn't be using Venusaur on Haunter, but honestly, I would like to get Venusaur leveled up. Um, so I don't have to use him anymore, because he's not very really good for this kind of gym. But seriously, why am I fighting... Ghost types. I was finding psychic types to be a little bit better because I could use body slam. But no. I'm just gonna have to waste my time and well, I guess I'm wasting my own time by using Razor Leaf on a Haunter. Whatever though. Hey, what do you know? He's dead. He's dead, Jim. Okay, Venusaur, can you, like, level up, please, and thank you? Okay, let's see. Where are you? No. Where are you at? Where are you at? 3,200? My goodness, dude. Okay, another high potion it is. I'm good, though, for um, for money. Like, if you look at my, my money, I've sold a lot of it, plus thanks to Payday on Persian. So, honestly, I'm good for money. Like, we'll look at that right now. Like, 169,060 bucks. You know what I mean? So, honestly, I can buy more Hyper Potions if I absolutely need to. Anyways, I have no idea who I haven't battled. There might be one more trainer after this one that I haven't battled. I'm gonna just check and make sure before I get to Sabrina. Mm. Alright. A Slowbro. This is perfect. I can just use, use, use uh, Razor Leaf on you. And that will probably kill you. Was that water gun? Please tell me you don't have a psychic type move, because if you do, you just made an idiotic move. Why would you use water gun and not a psychic type move? That doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me, but anyways, what do I know? Alright, well, let's see. Where are we at now? 
Sabrina. So that one goes to Sabrina. We know that, okay? Just want to make sure that I've battled every trainer. I don't think I've battled this guy. Oh, I have, actually. Okay. La. Okay, now I just want to make sure that I've battled every single trainer. My cut again, actually. I don't... I'm, I'm going to cut again, okay, guys? Alright, so I haven't battled her, and I'm pretty sure this is the one that I thought I hadn't battled. So I'll battle her, and then I will move on to Sabrina, which I can't wait. She is so... She's so hot. I am, I am really looking forward to that. Anyways, Ghastly. Razor Leaf. Hopefully that actually... Uh, okay, not bad. Hopefully Venusaur levels up before uh, the gym the gym fight, because come on, like, using a Venusaur on Sabrina is not the greatest idea. I don't, really, anybody's a good idea except for Venusaur, to be quite honest. So, Pidgeot would be the next one to use. I guess I'd use him, or I could use Persian. I could use any of them. They'd all be good. do 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 Enough with the Gastlies! Oh, for goodness sakes, Venusaur. <clears throat> do, 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 do. Oh my gosh, can you stop doing that? Mm. Oh my goodness. Did he somehow that can be... Uh, does that take up one move? Or one turn? Because I'm pretty sure... Um, Waking up from sleep does in Gen 1, which is so dumb. Alright. We use another one. That's Nightshade, right? Or maybe it's Confusion. Okay, you're dead. Oh man, I, I'd like Venusaur to level up. Please. I know I could use a different Pokemon, but honestly, I always like my starter to be my highest level, so if I use another Pokemon, that means that they would be even level with Venusaur, and I really don't want that. Uh, did you guys hear that? That was Ghastly's cry. And the only reason it sounds like that is because of the, the noise of the red, you know. Anyways. <sighs> You've gotta level- he's gotta level up after this guy, seriously. I've only used two Pokemon this entire video. Omastar and Venusaur. And hit yourself in confusion. Oh my gosh, Venusaur, stop! Seriously, you're getting on my nerves, man. See, this is what I don't like about Gen 1. This is what I don't like. They somehow know that they're gonna snap out of confusion. This is what I hate about Gen 1, seriously. How do you possibly know that? Oh, wait a second, you're psychic. Guys, can I just please super speed? I can't. Thank you. I'm sorry. I just can't. There we go. I'm sorry. I don't like you doing that while recording, but I just can't. Thank you. Thank you, Venusaur. You leveled up. How long did that take? Like, man, oh man, bro. Okay, anyways. I guess I shouldn't be getting impatient for not leveling up, but I think I've battled every trainer now. Hopefully, I think I battled that guy. Let me just make sure. Yeah, I did. Okay. All right, so I think this takes me to Sabrina. Maybe. No, this one does. Yeah, okay. So guys, with that, we're not using Venusaur. We're gonna switch over to Pidgeot. And guys, I'm gonna save just to be just to be on the safe side. 40 minutes and four or 40 hours, sorry, and 47 minutes. Alright guys, here we go. Return to battle Sabrina, in my opinion, the most attractive gym leader in all of Pokemon, actually. She's so hot. Like I'm gonna put actually hold on, I'll put a picture of her just in just a second. Once we're done talking to her, even though I can't. Uh, yeah, there we go. Anyways, this is Sabrina, the sixth gym leader of the game. There she is. That's what she looks, that's what she looks like in these games. I'm going to put up a picture of what she looks like in Heart, Gold, and Soul Silver, which is where I think she looks the best. And I know I did that in my Let's Play of Silver, but I just kind of want to do it again. Gosh, she's so hot. I mean, I would bang her in a heartbeat. I really would. Anyways, Cadaver is first, level 38. Let's fly. All right, let's see what that does. One hit KO! Hey, uh, by the way, all five gym battles so far have been, like, literally cakewalks. So let's see how, what this one's like. I mean, I, I really don't do well against Psychic types. All right, so we're just gonna go to Double Edge. And another one hit KO. Okay, who's next? 
Alakazam. Venomoth! Why are you using Venomoth and not Koga? Do, 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 do. Okay, so, so far we've had three one-hit KOs. Pidgeot is just literally sweeping this, uh, I was gonna say this guy, not guy, girl. Level 43, your Kadabra, or your Alakazam is the same level as Koga's, we oh my gosh! Yo, I literally just destroyed her. Yeah, I did. Wow! Insane. Anyways, that's it, we just defeated Sabrina, like, wow, that was so easy. I'm sorry, Sabrina. I really am sorry, but at the same time, I'm not. I mean, you've got good looks, right? Like, so it doesn't really matter. You've still got your really good looks. Anyways, TM46. I don't know what that is. That might be Psychic. Not sure. Yeah, no, nobody can learn it, so it's probably Confusion or Psychic or something like that. I'm not really sure. Anyways, now we gotta get out of here, and this is one thing I don't like about this. This is one thing I really don't like, so I seriously might have to like cut this out. I think I had to do that on my silver let's play because this this is another thing I don't like about this gym is that it, yeah, I hate this. Come on, I might have to cut this out too. You know what? I'm just gonna stop right now. There we go. Okay. Wow, I've had to make several cuts in this video. Holy crap. Anywho, um, we are flying. Oh wait, actually, before we fly, because I want to go to Pallet Town, but I'm pretty sure... Is there a way to heal in Pallet Town? Maybe the lab? I don't know. Let's fly. I can just heal off screen, actually. Okay, so Pallet Town is where I want to go. Because in the next episode, we're going to be making our way towards Cinnabar. Which, actually, I already showed at the end of the last episode, but that's just because I wanted to kind of skip all the trainers and go to and go get Om Omastar. Um, yeah. Anyways... Uh, this is a healing machine, right? Please tell me you heal. What the heck? Dude, can you heal me? What kind of a professor are you if you don't heal? Dude, you're... Alright, you know what? I will just heal off screen. Honestly, that's just what I'm gonna do. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Next time, I'm gonna be making my way towards Cinnabar, so I will see you all then. Adios.